Welcome to video 10 on the creation of a model railway. Let's have a look in a bit more detail on how we switch the turnouts using a small servo motor. These are the parts involved. In our case the turnouts that we use are a PECO. Uh, the whole layout is PECO track. This is a Tower Pro servo, the arm comes with it, there's even a choice of three, we use the single arm. These screws, they also come uh, with the servo. Then we unfold a standard paper clip to create a pin, and this is a small piece of aluminum strip uh, to mount the servo. I personally use Arduinos for DCC servo control. This is the tiny hole in the middle of the fork of the turnout that we have to move a couple of millimeters left and right. There is a spring in this turnout that gives a little click and a bit of pressure because this is the electrical contact also. Um, and well, I personally leave that spring in, but if you like uh, or don't like the sound of that spring, the click it makes, then of course you can also take the spring out because the servo drive can also apply a bit of pressure. Then what we need is a small piece of say at least 60 millimeters, uh, 15 millimeter U profile. When you go buy it at the, at the do-it-yourself shop, it's nice to take a servo with you because there are sometimes tolerances in these strips and, well, the servo must, of course, fit inside. If it doesn't, then you need to uh, go to another shop and try find another strip. Then we need uh, two screw holes, left and right. Make them a little bit uh, larger than the diameter of the screw so that you have a little play uh, when you mount this strip under the table. And then the important part, a one millimeter hole, not too close to uh, the screw hole, because of course in the uh, table we need to saw a bigger hole, let's say eight millimeters, to have some room for the pin to move around. And if these holes are too close together, then you cannot drill the hole for that screw anymore in your table. Well, this is all quite easy and cheap. It, it costs virtually nothing to mount a servo. And then, of course, we have the important player, the servo motor itself, which, by the way, are also very cheap. I always buy them at AliExpress and they are about two euros or sometimes a bit more a li or a bit less. It's an S. G90, but the strange thing with these uh, servos is even while the code number is the same, sometimes they are 90 degrees and sometimes they are 180 degrees and unfortunately this is not always mentioned in these specifications. I prefer the 180 degrees because then I have a little bit more uh, room to maneuver, but yeah, the 90 degrees should be sufficient. One of these uh, mounting wings needs to be sawn off because that is how we place it in the aluminum U-profile uh, to make it fit snugly in there. Most often three different arms are supplied with the servo. The one that we need is the single arm like shown here, which is mounted with the tiny screw that also comes in the package. And then there's an important step first. Uh, rotate your servo using a servo drive or an Arduino or any servo controller will do to uh, rotate that servo exactly to the middle which in the 180 degree type servo is of course 90 degrees. If you have the 90 degree servos then uh, rotate it to 45 degrees such that the arm uh, can be mounted exactly vertical while the servo is in the middle. And the arm should point uh, towards the wires because the other side, that's where we have cut off that wing. To switch the turnout we need a pin, 
Uh, yeah, you can go to a hobby shop and buy a uh, so-called piano wire or a steel rod of one millimeter. No, less than one millimeter. It has to fit to a one millimeter hole. Uh, but we like to do things on the cheap and a standard paper clip will do perfectly well. Just uh, unfold it and at one end make uh, such a nice 90 degree L shape of say four millimeters. Uh, some paper clips are a bit flimsy, uh, but some have a nice spring load uh, such that also in, in case the servo rotates a little bit too far, you won't destroy uh, the servo or the turnout. Then uh, this is the final unit. The servo is snugly mounted in the aluminum strip. Uh, my servo was even so tight that uh, the sticker came loose. But that's good and if it is, has a little play you can a apply a little drop of uh, glue of course. And then the pin, yeah, I always put it on the third hole from the top but yeah, you, maybe you need to play around with that a bit, a bit higher or lower. It just depends on your preference maybe also. Then it's through this hole and that is the, uh, yeah, the pivot point so to speak where it is going to uh, switch the turnout and that turnout is this one on my uh, mini layout uh, we are going to apply it under the table on uh, this turnout over here so what I did in advance is drill a hole or well actually first I uh, drew a line in the direction of the track uh, because that's also the direction we are going to mount the aluminum strip in and then this hole is eight millimeters uh, if you wonder what these green things are over here that's a flower binding wire and that's the way how i uh, secure my track to the table it may not be sturdy enough for a server drive because as we will see uh, in a minute it still moves around a bit so i i need to uh, tighten the turnout a little bit differently probably well, it's time to mount the whole thing. So the, uh, the, the pin goes through uh, the hole in the aluminum strip and of course through the hole in the turnout. Uh, an important step may uh, be that you first apply a, a few uh, two cartons uh, to the fork of the turnout to have it exactly in the middle. Otherwise you are going to mount this uh, module while the turnout is either left or right. Uh, while mounting it, it is nicest to have it exactly in the middle. That can be done with j simply two cartons uh, between the fork and the rail. Then, uh, yeah, first hold this uh, unit over here and then with a, a felt pen uh, mark these uh, points where you need to screw uh, the uh, screws. So first we have to drill a tiny hole there because yeah, this wood is uh, quite hard. It has a lot of glue in it. Yeah, so I drilled a tiny hole over here and over there. As you can see, uh, I was a bit confused where it should be and uh, it turned out not to be exactly in the middle, but there's enough room to play to adjust for that. And that room is because uh, the holes in the aluminum strip are a bit bigger than the screw. So as you can see over here, I have some room to maneuver to adjust this whole module such that uh, the turnout is going to switch nicely. Well, we are done. The whole thing is mounted. One more thing to do, and that is to tune the servo angles that we need to switch the turnout. All right, the servo uh, module is mounted and the pin is through the servo arm and the little hole in the turnout. I use an Arduino as a DCC servo decoder, but yeah, you may have your own decoder, any commercial brand will do, and they all will have their own way of tuning a servo. With the Arduino I use the Mardec software, it's free software, the link goes in the description, and it has a tuning function. So let's send the servo to the other side, like this. We should hear the click of the turnout because I left the spring in 
so it means we have to move the arm a little bit further like this yeah there was the click and then well maybe one two three four five degrees further I, I can tune it in one degree steps let's send it to the other side again yeah it already clicked and it has a little extra room uh, to go to have a bit of pressure on the turnout fork so this is good click yeah maybe a bit further and click well this is it let's have a small look at the top side here we see the servo drive with the pin which is still long it has to be cut off of course let's uh, change the turnout and this is what happens aha i can see my rails moving which means i have not secured it here uh, very tightly enough that is something for later still has to be done but i'm happy with the uh, result the turnouts switch nicely and even the speed with which it moves can be controlled if you would like that detail well this was it maybe see you back in the next video and in the meantime have fun